Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own dandelion tincture at home and I don't think you're going to believe how ridiculously easy it is to make. So you do need a little bit of time, you need at least a month to allow your dandelions to infuse so that all of that goodness and all of those health benefits, medicinal stuff can be extracted for you. So this here is some dandelion roots, dandelion leaves and even a dandelion flower that I picked in the autumn. So I picked this in autumn, it's actually now March. I let this infuse November, December, January and February. So it's about four and a half months worth of infusion there. All you need is one month to let it infuse but if you want to leave it longer, leave it longer. It'll just extract even more of that goodness out of it if you've got the time but a month is actually good enough. So let me talk you through what I did. So in the autumn I went out and picked some dandelions. You can do this any time of year, any time of year that you've got dandelions growing. So I went out into nature and I brought my little trowel and I dug up some dandelions. I dug up the root. It was a little bit hard because the, the ground is so compacted out in the wild. The roots, some leaves, and there was the odd flower that I found as well. So all of that can go into the infusion. Then I got home gave them a really good rinse. I actually scrubbed the roots to make them really nice and clean. And then what I did was I chopped them up into really small, tiny pieces. And then I compacted them into a glass bottle, or you can use a jar. It's probably a little bit easier to use a, a, a jar because you can get your hands in there. So you just compact everything that you've chopped up into a jar or a bottle as long as it's glass and then here's the next part the only other thing you need to do is go out and get some vodka just get a good decent vodka then you want to pour it so that it completely covers all the leaves and all the bits of dandelion and then just a little bit more on top of that so the important thing over the time of this infusion is that everything needs to be covered and then for the first week or so, you just want to keep checking in on it. So you just want to give it a shake, maybe every few days. And if the leaves are starting to peak above the vodka, just make sure you press them down firmly. I left my infusion in a cool, dark place, which isn't actually that difficult in the UK in the winter because most places are dark and cool. So the next thing I did, I've been saving some bottles. These are made of glass. If you can get bottles that are made of glass and that are coloured, even better. Um, just use what you have. I have just used a regular jar before when I haven't had coloured ones. Just store them in a cool dark place and you're good. They'll just last literally forever. So I've saved them to decant my tincture in once I've strained it. So I'm going to get a nice glass jug and a very fine meshed strainer. The, the finest one I can actually find will do. You could also use a nut bag or a cheesecloth to do it as well. But I'm just going to use this fine strainer and I'm going to pour this. Oh wow, it smells so potent, so rich and so, oh that, that, is going to be so good for me. I'm going to share it as well. I'm not going to keep it all to myself. So then I'm going to pour it into a glass jug. The first thing I want to do is put this into my little bottles. You just got to be really careful. Oh my God, that smells so good. There we go. Dandelion tincture. If you've got any questions, please do ask them in the comments below. I love it if you like this um, and subscribe to my channel if you resonate and want to see more of this because I'd love to share. So thank you so much for tuning in and bye for now.